Good morning, this is Ron Clymer at Clymer School of Real Estate. I'm kind of doing this makeshift thing on the little portable easel. I've had a bunch of people, not a bunch, three or four, call me about one of the questions on the free practice test that we have on our website at www.climberrealestateschool.com. So we have this free test and students take it. We got the answers there for them, but when they can't understand it, they call me to look for uh, why, why is it what it is. Well, question 93 seems to be one of the ones. Now, by the way, I've already got this on YouTube. If you look at the YouTube uh, video where I'm wearing the blue shirt, I explain to you how to do Doc Stamps on the Deed. Now, if you don't have the rates memorized, if you don't have the rates memorized for Doc Stamps on the Deed, Doc Stamps on the Note, and Intangible Tax, you're up the creek without a paddle. Now, Doc Stamps on the Deed are 70 cents per hundred dollars, and they're paid on the total purchase price. Now, these are called documentary stamps because they're stamps. They cost 70 cents per stamp. So you take the price and you divide by a hundred and that tells you how many stamps you need. Well if there's any number after the decimal that means you need a part of a stamp. You can't buy a part of a stamp so you always round dock stamps on the deed up to the next biggest number. Now dock stamps on the note, documentary stamps on the note, sometimes called documentary stamps on the mortgage 35 cents per hundred dollars and they're also stamps. You lick them and you stick them on the document and they are 35 cents per hundred dollars. Same thing, you divide the mortgage amount by a hundred. If there's any number at all after the decimal, you need another stamp. You can't buy half a stamp, can't buy a third of a stamp, can't buy nine tenths of a stamp. So if you got any number at all after the decimal, you round up to the next stamp. So documentary stamps on the deed are 70 cents per hundred. Documentary stamps on the note are 35 cents per hundred. Now they're on the new mortgage, they're on an assumed mortgage, and they're on a subject to mortgage. Excuse me. They are not on the subject to mortgage. They're on a new mortgage they're on an assumed mortgage, they're not on the subject to mortgage. Now, if you don't know what assumed or subject to means, it's on the exam you need to find out, but you don't need to find out to do this arithmetic. All you need to know is, if you're assuming the mortgage, you pay the stamps. If you're buying subject to the mortgage, you don't pay the stamps. And if it's a new mortgage, you're buying the stamps. And there's another tax called intangible tax. It's .002 times brand new mortgage. Brand new mortgage. So if it's not a new mortgage, you don't have the intangible tax. And the intangible tax is not a stamp. You don't lick it and you don't stick it on the document. You just pay it. Now the purpose of all three of these stamps is to generate revenue for the state of Florida. And that's a question on the easy test. If you take the chocolates to the exam, wear your Climber School of Real Estate t-shirt, they give you the steady, they give you the easy exam, and you're good to go with that. But that's a question on the easy exam. The fact that the purpose of these stamps is to generate revenue for the state of Florida. Not for the federal government, not for the local government, for the state of Florida. That's the purpose of Doc Stamps on the D, intangible tax, and Doc Stamps on the note. Now it says here, let me, I hope you got this, www.climberrealestateschool.com and I hope you got that I'm Ron Climber. Well here's the deal. We got $135,250 is the price. By the way, if you don't have this test, you can go to my website and print it out, download it, look at it, whatever you want to do. And by the way, you take this test, if you don't pass this test, you are not going to pass the Florida Real Estate Exam. This is free. Florida Real Estate Exam costs $31.50 
per tribe. So here's our price, 135250 We're going to divide that by 100, so we need 1,352.5 stamps. Don't take my word for it, let's do it with the calculator. 135,250 divided by 100. My calculator says 1,352.5. You can't buy half a stamp. So we need 1,353 stamps. That's how many stamps we need. Now, you got to have the rate memorized. They're 70 cents per hundred dollars. And on the Florida real estate exam, they are 70 cents per hundred dollars. If your instructor taught you some other weird stuff, forget that. They're 70 cents per hundred dollars. We are never tested on any kind of local ordinances. Documentary stamps on the deed are 70 cents per hundred dollars. So, 70 cents times one three five three times point seventy is nine hundred and forty seven dollars and ten cents nine hundred and forty seven dollars and ten cents you round off the stamps you don't round off the money so that's nine hundred and forty seven dollars and ten cents that's the documentary stamps on the D that's on every legal transaction that occurs in the state of Florida. You always have doc stamps on the deed. Now in this example we are assuming a mortgage of $78,411. So we are assuming this mortgage. We're going to divide that by a hundred. We need 784 Point one stamps. You can't buy a half a stamp. You can't buy point one of a stamp. So we need 785 stamps. And they cost 35 cents. And you need that memorized. If you don't have that memorized, you better memorize it before you go down to Pearson View with your $31.50 in your hand. So let's see. 785 stamps times 0 .35 I got $274.75 $274.75 Doc stamps on the deed always end in zero Doc stamps on the note always end in zero or five. If they don't end in zero or five, you got the wrong answer. If deed stamps don't end in zero, you got the wrong answer. So that's $274.75. Now, we're assuming this mortgage. There's no intangible tax because we're assuming the mortgage. But we got another little mortgage which is $13,700 and fifty dollars. Thirteen thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. This is a purchase money mortgage being held by the seller. It's a brand new mortgage. We're going to be signing the notes of the mortgage at closing. We divide this by a hundred and we need a hundred and thirty seven point five stamps. We need a hundred and thirty seven point five stamps. You can't buy a half a stamp. So we need a hundred and thirty eight stamps and they cost thirty five cents. Alright, let's see what the calculator says. A hundred and thirty eight times point thirty five. My calculator says forty eight dollars and thirty cents. As I said, Doc stamps on the note always end in five or zero. $48.30 on this new $13,750 mortgage. Now, because it's new, we have intangible tax. 
point zero zero two times thirteen thousand seven fifty. Thirteen thousand seven hundred and fifty times point zero zero two. My calculator says twenty seven dollars and fifty cents. So we've got nine hundred and forty seven dollars and ten cents for the deed stamp. We've got two hundred and seventy four dollars and seventy five cents for the assumed mortgage. We've got a hundred and thirty seven dollars. Well, that's not right. We've got forty eight dollars and thirty cents for the stamps on the little mortgage and we've got twenty seven dollars and fifty cents in tangible tax hold on I'm going to use a calculator to add those up nine hundred and forty seven dollars and ten cents plus two hundred and seventy four dollars and seventy five cents plus forty eight dollars and thirty cents plus twenty seven dollars and fifty cents my calculator says one thousand two hundred and ninety seven dollars and sixty five cents one thousand two hundred and ninety seven dollars and sixty five cents revenue for the state of Florida. You got to have the rates memorized and you got to know when. If you need any help getting your real estate license, passing the state exam, give Kathy a call at that number. We'll be glad to help you. If you haven't done, if you haven't done our free test, you're just crazy to go take the state exam without that free practice test. You're crazy to go take the state exam without watching the rest of these videos. You're crazy to take the state exam without buying Linda Crawford's exam manual, which Kathy sells. Give her a call at that number. Tell her you want that. It's got 400 practice questions. By the way, if you want to know what the pass rate was last month, last month being July of 2013, it was 42% first timers and 33% for second timers. So if you're going back for the second time, your odds are 33%. You better be studying what's on the Florida real estate exam. Watch my videos. Call Kathy if we can help you. And don't be missing this question. Doc stamps on the deed, intangible tax, doc stamps on the note. Very frequent question on the Florida real estate exam.